Hi, I'm Wendy from Shiny Happy World, and in this video I'm going to show you how to wrestle a full-size quilt through a standard sewing machine. We're going to do machine quilting without anything fancy, just a regular basic sewing machine and a straight stitch. So this is your basic setup. You don't prep anything, don't roll the edges of your quilt up or anything like that. All of that actually makes your quilt much more difficult to handle. You just want it loose, fluffed up, and sitting in your lap. You also want to have plenty of room on the back side and the side of your machine because you're going to be pushing a whole quilt through there. This is a twin size quilt just because that's what I happen to have made, but I have used this technique on a king size quilt and this machine and it works just fine. Always when you're machine quilting you want to start in the middle of your quilt and you work your way out to the sides. This is a quilt that's a series of long strips so I'm just going to quilt it the same way to accentuate the long stripy strippiness of it. So I'm just going to do a series of long quilting channels all the way down the length of the quilt. And I'm going to start out by quilting in the ditch, which is quilting right along the seam in between two blocks. It makes a little ditch there, so that's why they call it stitching in the ditch. So I'm going to get my quilt underneath the presser foot. You want to lift it up so that the weight of the quilt isn't tugging on this area at all. And what we're going to do is called stuff and fluff. So you start out just with a little back stitching at the edge. And then I use my hands just to kind of make a little frame here. And just go a little bit. Then I stop and I lift everything up. And I make sure the weight of the quilt isn't pulling in this direction either. So I'm going to flip that up on the table. Get everything flat. I can feel that this is smooth. And I quilt another little section. And then I put my needle down. That's going to hold it so that in all of my shifting around while I'm fluffing this up and stuffing things through, the quilt isn't shifting around. It's staying exactly where it was as far as the needle goes. And I stitch a little bit further. Needle down to hold it in place. And now I'm starting to stuff some of the side part of that quilt through the opening. And if you keep it loose, you can actually get all of that through there. Do some more stitching. Needle down to anchor it. Stuff a little bit more through. And I can feel it starting to pull a little bit over here, so I'm going to lift a little bit more up. It gets a little crowded in here, but really all you need is this little channel to be smooth and flat. Stitch down, needle down to anchor it. Just kind of make sure everything's good. Stitch a little bit more. Needle down to anchor it. Lift that up a little bit, smooth this out. Stop. Now you can see that this is kind of pulling down here, so I'm going to push a little bit more through, lift some more of this up into my lap that was down on the floor. Okay, keep going. Needle down to anchor it. Again, I was kind of getting pulled off course a little bit, so I'm going to stop and straighten everything out. Stop again. This needs to be pulled through. And I'm just kind of fluffing up what's in my lap so I can get everything pulled through. We're almost to the end of the quilt. There's just another couple of feet left. See that it's pulling down a little bit there. Lift that up. I can get the whole end through now. And we're at 
the very end, and I'm going to take this pin out because I've got it really close to that seam there. When I get to the end, I backstitch a little bit, and we just worked the middle through the sewing machine, and that's the hardest part. You start with the hardest part because then you have the most bulk that's going through here. And I'm not going to show you all of the rest of this, but I would come down back to the beginning. This is the seam that I just did right here, and I would just shift over a little bit and just do the next row. Or if I wanted to do them wider, maybe I only wanted to stitch in the ditch. I would move over, but I would work all the way over to this edge of the quilt, and then when I'm done, I would flip the whole thing around and start working in the other direction. So that's it. You can use a standard sewing machine to quilt any size quilt. I have done king size quilts using the exact technique that I just showed you. It's stuff and fluff. Remember, sew just a little bit, put your needle down to anchor your quilt so it doesn't shift around while you're taking care of all of the excess weight, and just push it through. All you need is a little bit, five or six inches at a time, and just go a little bit at a time and you'll get it through the machine. I'm Wendy from Shiny Happy World. I'll see you next time.